Hey, 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 hey. What it do, what it do. This is your boy, KQKC Boxing Network. And this is another update, Boxing Updates. And we are talking about none other than the heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk. Well, yes, we are talking about rematch. Anthony Joshua and Usyk would love to have a rematch as soon as possible. But, yes, it's a but. Alexander Usyk said he wants the rematch in Ukraine. Now, of course, the former IBF, uh, WBA, uh, WO heavyweight champion, Anthony Joshua, uh, uh, will have to go over there in Ukraine. And that would be a nightmare for Anthony Joshua. He would be entering the lion's den to fight using in front of his fans in that rematch in Ukraine. Now, if Joshua's self-confidence is shot to pieces from last Saturday, Javid, he's going to have to be a shaking, nervous fucking wreck fighting Yusik in Kavid, Ukraine. Now, as a three-belt champion, Yusik should have some say in whether the second fight with Joshua will be taking place. Now, of course, Anthony Joshua promoter Eddie Hearn said he doesn't like the idea of the rematch taking place in Ukraine in February. Well, of course you don't like it, Eddie Hearn, because things are not on your terms as far as entering Russia. Because we all know Ukraine and Russia are right next door to each other. We know they have bad blood as far as uh, 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 Russia trying to take over Ukraine. And trying to make that Russia also. Because we are talking about less than 40 miles apart. Now. As we move on. Now if you know your politics. You'll know that uh, Putin. Who pretty much led uh, 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 Russia. In a lot of uh, 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 wars against Ukraine. Just a couple. They want to take over that area that's why you saw Klitschko at the fight supporting his countryman so once again Eddie Hearn wants to take over the rematch he wants everything on his turn well we have to understand my brothers and sisters Eddie Hearn don't hold the cards here your 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 charge or your representative that you represent is not I repeat it's not heavyweight champion anymore at this present time now of course we know anything can happen in a rematch we know that we know boxing but Eddie Hearn said he doesn't like the idea well of course you're not going to like the idea because the chances are that none other than the former champion Anthony Joshua I don't think he can do any better than he did last night. Now, the second fight, as we said on the morning after show this morning, on Knockout Boxing 86 TV, that Anthony Joshua might get knocked out the next time around. See, it's funny about rematches. Rematches is that you know What your opponent is bringing. You know how hard he hits. You know basically what he can and cannot do. Keep in mind. You cannot change your fighting style in one training camp. We know this. Now if you had time like Deontay Wilder had a lot of time. Then maybe it's possible. Maybe it, 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 it can happen. But not in a rematch like this. And they are pushing for it right away. Now, as the new three belt champion, Mr. Yusik, 
should have some say in it, whether the second fight with Joshua would take place. Yes, he should. He should have a lot to say so. If you want to still say the A and B side, well, right now, you should sit on the A side. Now, it's very unclear whether the location of the rematch has already been written in the rematch clause. Because it is a rematch clause. Once again, your boy, KQKC, always say on boxing updates that a champion must have a rematch clause just in case he does lose his belt or belts. That way he have a chance, only one chance, to get it back. Now, of course, if so, they haven't had a rematch clause yet to specify that. There's not much Usyk will be able to do about getting his way in bringing the rematch to his home country of Ukraine. Remember, some guys write rematch clauses before the first fight. And they specify what will happen, what will be done, blase, blase. Now, of course, you see, we didn't know the outcome of this fight. Well, some people did. <laughs> but, you see, pulled it off. He pulled off a minor upset. Now, I'm going to say minor upset in defeating Anthony Joshua by a 12-round unanimous decision in front of a big packed crowd. I'm talking about 70,000 people. 70,000 was in Tottenham. Man, oh man. London, England was rocking last night. I called the fight, and it was a great fight. Now, the event started out badly. With the crowd loudly booing the Ukrainian national anthem while it was being sung. Very unsportsmanlike ship from them. They probably didn't make use of feel too much at home having to hear the boos. Within the first 15 seconds of the first round, usually landed a sharp left hand to the head of Joshua, getting his attention right away. Two more big lefts from Usyk. Then it will follow, showing that he meant, he meant business. Joshua looked incapable of getting to uh, uh, for the next two rounds. He struggled to land anything until the fourth. By that time, Joshua was trailing 3-0. Now, I had it 2-1, uh, but 3-0. Now, and needed to let his hands go because he was being uh, taken to school by Usyk. Anthony Joshua was timid, my people. And what I mean by timid, he didn't want to let his hands go. So, therefore, what he did was he was pretty much uh, tip for tap and pretty much just throwing the jab. It was battle of the jabs for the first two or three rounds. Anthony Joshua was scared to let his hands go because he knew what was coming back. He knew that Orizana Usyk used a lot of angles, used a lot of lateral movement. Now, Anthony Joshua is a big guy. He came in at 240, plus the muscles that he carried around. Now, of course, Usyk pretty much changed the tables on Mr. Joshua. So Usyk did not give Anthony Joshua a lot of ring generalship. He did not pretty much move all through the fight. He stayed in the pocket most of the time. It was a very strategic and thought out fight last night. Once again, Anthony Joshua looked incapable of keeping up with Usyk. Now you have to do your work. Throw your front hand. Your jab, because if you concentrate on knocking him out, which Anthony Joshua was, you're going to lose your rhythm. You're going to lose your work that you're doing. I would love to have the rematch in uh, 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 Ukraine. This is per Orlando Usyk. That's at the post-press conference last uh, Saturday night. It's more likely that Usyk would need to return to the UK and fight Joshua in London, England once again. It's almost a given that's where the second fight would take place. We know Eddie Hearn. We know the lies that he tells. We know that the lies and scheming that he does. And yes, we will see that in the contract. So most likely, I don't think the fight would take place in uh, Ukraine. Let's say Russia. Now, Wimbledon Stadium is an obvious dis uh, uh, destination for the second Joshua uh, Yusuf fight. Because there will be more interest from British boxing fans in seeing the two fight again. And what happened last Saturday night.
Now, can Anthony Joshua change that outcome? I don't think so. I think Anthony Joshua, pretty much, if he loses this rematch, I believe he will end up being a gatekeeper. I believe that he will end up being still one of the top heavyweights in the division. But slowly but surely, we got Jerry Anderson coming up. We got a lot of good fighters that's coming up. Man, oh man, the heavyweight division about to take the stage. The heavyweight division about to take a name of his own. Now, we talk about the lightweights. We talk about the welterweights. But now, we are about to talk about the heavyweights again. Always remember that old saying. Once the heavyweight division goes, so do boxing. So, if we can bring the heavyweight division back in the top notch and put it, much, put it in a throwback mood. Oh, wow. Man, we got a, a good boxing uh, uh, sport coming up in the next few months. Or the next few years. Now, the real tragedy... Is that Joshua just signed a contract extension with Matchroom Boxing that would take him to the end of his career, losing the first fight after uh, 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 signing the contract. That's a bad motherfucking omen, baby. <laughs> wow! But in the twelfth round, <laughs> the twelfth round, they said to put. Some speed on it and I did Then that's what Arizona UC said He did put some speed on it Because he won the 12th round I mean overwhelmingly I mean we talking about 4 unanswered Teed off punches From Arizona UC Join me Join me tomorrow At 12.30pm We will get into detail About this fight On Saturday night I'm KQ KC Boxing. This has been another edition of Boxing Updates. I appreciate you. I appreciate everything uh, and support that my supporters show. I am KQKC. I come on Monday through Friday, 12.30 p.m. Central Time. Check me out. Join the channel. Join the network. And join the family. And also, come on, Saturday mornings at 10.30 a.m. That's a call-in show. I'm going on two weeks straight. No day off. I'm rocking. I'm rocking this. So, I put in the grind. Now it's time for you to put in the time. So, therefore, you call and show me and tell me your boxing mind. And that's on Saturdays at 10.30 a.m. But what I will do tomorrow, this will be a special edition of KQKC. I will open the phone lines up and ask everyone what do they think about the fight on Saturday night. I repeat, that will be a call-in show tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. Call in on your lunch. Put your pop, put your sandwich down. It's going to be a a, 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 a pretty much boxing, uh, a mass of boxing. I am KQKC Boxing Network. And I appreciate your time. And shout out to the almighty LDBC. Shout out to New Media's Row. Shout out to all my supporters. And with that, I'm on to the next one. Peace. I'm out of here.